welcome to Living Raw with Rosie. So I've been gone for a long time. I haven't made a video in a while. And there's a couple of reasons why. Um, first, I started a new job here in Utah, which is amazing. I love this hospital because I work with amazing people. I do have to say that Utah has one of the friendliest, nicest people I've ever known in, after living in a couple of states here in the U.S. But yeah, I started this new jo job, like I said, that I absolutely love. And the great news about my job is that there's actually two people who do eat raw at my job. And it's nice to have somebody that could relate to you and your lifestyle and that you could relate to their lifestyle. So that's awesome. And uh, second, partly to, as I mentioned before in other videos, uh, last year, 2015 was a rough year for my husband's family and my family. He had five family members that passed away on his side of the family and I had three. Uh, and we had about three family members that passed away during the holiday season, which was kind of difficult for us. And um, we spent a lot of time on the phone with our family members that were grieving uh, for support. We were giving them support and they were giving us support as well as friends. So, uh, so this video is basically my grocery haul but also most important, my staples uh, for the week. So this is basically what I buy and I purchase uh, for the week for my husband and I to make our lunches for work and also for foods that we eat at home. Now, once a week we do eat out and we'll have a cooked plant-based diet, at least I will. He uh, still eats meat on occasion, but we do not eat any type of meats, anything at home. We don't have dairy, we don't eat meat at home at all. And, uh, or we process sugars for the most part. I don't think we have those at home. But yeah, that's basically what, what we do during the week. But I really, really wanted to make this video because I wanna show you guys um, the staples that you could have at home to have a su successful raw lifestyle during the winter months as uh, we do. So I'm going to start really quick with what I buy organic and what I do not buy organic because mind you, um, lots of stuff that we do have to have organic that you cannot uh, skip on. Uh, as long as it's affordable, but it is important is these things that I'm going to mention right now And then I'm going to mention what I don't buy organic and why okay, so Staples are always bananas. So from here to here in about a foot long I have our bananas for the week Yes, people look at us really funny when we buy this many bananas in our grocery cart but remember my husband and I uh, eat between, I at least have five bananas a day, and he might have between five and eight or nine bananas a day. So, that, so that's why we need this many bananas. So we eat them in smoothies, we eat them by themselves, we eat them in our breakfast bowl, and what we don't end up finishing, which I gotta show you sometimes, which I only have like two left, that we actually did not finish. So they're this black. So this one's gonna go in the smoothie today, which is actually really, it's it's not, even though it's that black, I wanna show you guys, I could peel it because I'm gonna use it. It's not um, at all bad in the inside. This banana actually is still white and very much so ready to eat and delicious. So that one's going to go in the smoothie. Uh, I haven't had bananas left over lately to freeze. I still have some frozen ones from a couple months back. But yeah, let's go through this again. So the bananas is a staple. Uh, apples are a staple. And usually I get a bag of apples at um, Sam's Club or Costco, but organic ones. They have to be organic because we do eat the peel and it's thin. So I didn't find any, so I got them at my local organic store called Good Earth here. 
I did find organic bananas at Sam's Club. And another staple is tomatoes, organic tomatoes. I found that at my local Harmon store. My organic cauliflower is a staple, a must. Uh, organic, my organic uh, celery, also a must. Very important. My organic romaine, I found that at Sam's Club. And my organic uh, power greens. And my organic spinach, tug. My organic dates, because right now, unfortunately, this small one costs about $6.99 at Harmon's, my um, local grocery store here. And it's not cheap, but I use this to sweeten, and I'll show you guys to sweeten my tonic or my coffee substitute, which I'll show you in another video. So this is a staple. My dinosaur kale, I can't live without this dinosaur kale. Look how delicious and dark green this is. Now this is what I, my husband and I use in our smoothies with our bananas because it is the darkest green leafy green that you could get during the winter and winter and it's organic so this one uh is a must because it has a lot of minerals uh like magnesium potassium and it keeps your nails your bone bones and your hair really healthy so this is a must okay i also get my organic cilantro a lot of you guys my uh, use or uh, let's see parsley instead of cilantro me I'm a cilantro person I love that with avocado lime and tomatoes kind of like a salsa that I have or dressing that I make for my salad if you check my Facebook page living raw with Rosie I just made a cilantro avocado and lemon dressing that you can make it's supposed to be lime but I didn't have any at the time so I made it with lemon. It's so good. I got that from actually one of my co-workers, Lindsay. Hi, Lindsay. She uh, made the dressing and I tasted it. It was so delicious. Another staple for our salads is cabbage. Now, this cabbage is not organic. Unfortunately, we love purple cabbage and I cannot find an organic one right now during the winter. So, I got a non-organic. It's kind of it doesn't have a peel so this should be organic if you can i didn't find it so i didn't get it organic um like i said we try to do the best we can and you should should get organic the one thing is that i will never not get uh non-organic will be my leafy greens another organic leafy green that we use a lot is these big Colored green leaves, and I'll tell you why I use these a lot. I what I use these. I love making uh, veggie uh, burritos with avocado and dressing and all kinds of veggies in there. I even put quinoa. Put quinoa sometimes when uh, my I make uh, quinoa for my husband's dinners, cook dinners, and I put them on the burritos next the next day for work. I also blend these with my smoothies. These are the best for the winter. Uh, also, organic uh, carrots. So cabbage, carrots, uh, celery, and tomatoes are a must in most of my salads. If you see all my salads that I post, those are always my main ingredients in my salads that I never ever skip on. So. Yes, this is everything that I buy organic. Now I'm going to show you guys what I do buy that's not organic because you either get really tiny, tiny ones and they're super expensive. It's like pineapple, for example. So this pineapple is not organic. And what I, when I buy a non-organic, other than the cabbage, obviously today, it's usually something that has a peel that I peel off and I'm going to use the inside only. So pineapple is non-organic, but I'm going to peel that and uh, dice that up with some um, uh, mandarins. So I got these mandarins that are non-organic, but again, they have a peel and my husband really, really loves these. I 
like to cut them up with the pineapple and put them in a salad. Another thing that I do not buy organic is the grapefruits, which um, I also dice up in the fruit salad. But yeah, is they I do have a place where they have uh, organic grapefruits, but it's two forty nine a pound. So basically, this grapefruit will cost me two forty nine because this is almost a pound. So that's why I don't buy that organic. And another thing that I do not buy organic is these avocados that I get at Sam's Club. And I have about an avocado a day in my salads as a dressing. Uh, when I don't make, when I'm too lazy to make dressings, if I put lemon juice and a whole avocado in my salad and mix it up, that makes a creamy dressing. That's a great alternative for you that love ranch dressing or creamy dressings, but you don't want all that sodium and unhealthy fats, you want healthy fats, that's an awesome alternative, remember. And me, I know a lot of people are iffy about their fat, but remember, um, a lot of people, at least on the 80-10-10 diet, say that you should have 10% fat. Um, I found out that my fat ratio was too low and I was getting uh, lethargic, tired, not enough energy, and I got blood work done and my uh, good fats was really, really low. So I upped my fat content to between, um, I say about 16% to 18%, even 20%. Uh, and then my, I, my energy level came back. I noticed I felt a lot better and healthier. And I don't know if that's due because of the winter or what, but for I think in your fat, intake is uh, different for every person individually so really pay attention to that okay so now I'm gonna give you guys a tour of my empty refrigerator and my pantry and like I said excuse the mess because I haven't okay guys on the top shelf I got organic applesauce soy milk organic soy milk some leftover uh, cashew a nutritional use and turmeric kind of like my uh, cauliflower popcorn sauce I cook some peas for my husband where I make pea soup. Uh, over there I have my almonds soaked in water and some hemp seeds, my um, sprouts, broccoli sprouts, my organic broccoli sprouts there. Uh, organic bell peppers, uh, back there I have my pecans in glass. Some cooked quinoa for my husband's dinner. Those mushrooms are not organic, he likes mushrooms for um, he likes to saute them with onions on his cooked meals. And if you go to my cook channel, I'll show you how I saute that with onions for his meals. Organic apples, some organic um, baby carrots down there. And then the bottom one has my garlic. Here in the door at the top, I have my non-organic avocados. And then I have my, uh, these are his sprouted whole grain tortilla wraps that he likes to eat. I prefer collard greens. I got my coconut water, probiotics, uh, my Parmesan cheese that I make with nutritional yeast, cashews, and pink Himalaya salt, and garlic powder. Um, I have just like sesame seeds in the jars. And down here I have balsamic vinaigrette, dressing, my tahini sauce tahini that I use for my salad dressings and my apple cider vinegar, some organic sauerkraut that I put it in my uh, dressings, miso, my mama choy sauce for my wraps, veggie wraps. Down there I have my almonds, non-organic pecans, and my organic pine nuts for my dressings with walnuts. So in the freezer, let's see what's here really quick. A lot of frozen bananas that I haven't used for smoothies and ice creams. Uh, frozen pineapple. Uh, these are frozen um, tomato paste, organic tomato paste that I use for pizzas when I make cooked pizzas for my husband. Plant-based, you can check that on my other channel, Living Plant-Based with Rosie. Um, this is a tart that I made during the holidays. I don't know if it's still good, but it's uh, like nuts. So I just blend some frozen, um, it's made out of walnuts. And I blend 
frozen I blend frozen uh, fruits and then make a tart from that this is just pulp from my almonds leftover almond milk it's very sweet and I use those to make cookies I'll make a video on my cook channel someday uh, frozen raspberries uh, frozen organic fruit that I buy for our, our um, some more bananas there for our smoothies and it's pretty dirty and empty in there and that's it uh, more frozen fruit there bananas and ice up there so that's it on the freezer so I'm gonna show you the pantry now so going oh and this is a mess so please excuse my pantry you guys um, so top shelf we have carob powder cacao powder my uh coconut snacks flax crackers um what do i have in these jars yeah my cacao powder and carob powder some seaweed snacks there and some more dates there uh right here i have figs dry figs uh green blues um this is a really good green powder it's i don't think it's organic but it's really really good and my husband uses that in his protein shakes so uh pumpkin seeds some organic veggie broth that i was using during the holidays and then these are my teas over here next shelf cashews back there organic oatmeal which we do buy organic oatmeal some honey there and uh what do I have? Oh, chia seeds, pink salt, mulberries back here that we put in our um, breakfast. Oh, I'm running out of flaxseed powder, goji berries, turmeric. Um, that rice is there from one of the my family members that came over and they were making uh, rice water, which is actually really good. I'll show you guys how to make that in my cook channel coconut powder and this is a beetroot uh sugar that i do not use uh I, that was a gift with some tea that somebody gave me from um tivana and this is my organic sun dried tomatoes coconut flour back there all my nut butters and my coconut oil and my organic uh, red wine vinegar my nutritional yeast and my mama shoyas and what is this my liquid aminos that i use when i cook for my husband so that's that shell next one i have uh wraps so this is uh an organic uh wheat wrap that i use wheat brown rice wrap that i use for my veggie wraps um some noodles kelp noodles that i haven't used yet uh organic whole wheat flour that i finally found for my husband's pizzas veggie pizzas i have chilies back there and spices this is just my spice rack still here and that's it so that so that was a tour of my refrigerator my pantry and um oh yeah i forgot to show you guys so this is my husband's organic oatmeal that i buy for him because this is he likes oatmeal in the morning for breakfast i hope you guys enjoyed this video and this is to give you a quick idea of what i eat uh daily and weekly what we both eat but i haven't made many videos on recipe videos because like i said I do tend to repeat my breakfasts, lunches, and stuff, but if you'd like to see a lot more pictures of what I do eat and information on nutrition, you could follow me on Living Raw with Rosie on my Facebook channel. And uh, thank you for watching. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And you could also follow me on Living Plant Based with Rosie on my other channel, which is a cook channel. And you can see recipes of meals that I cook for uh, my husband and i haven't made videos lately but hopefully i can get back on track soon uh once again thanks you guys for watching and i'll 